Hi, I'm Emery. This is Ashley. We're the Bennetts, and we have four kids, um, ranging age from uh, <laughs> five all the way to 22. Um, as far as how we came to Christ, um, Ashley and I were both uh, brought up believing in God and believing in Christ. Um, for Ashley, he didn't become really personal until um, her mid to late teen years, and she um, started going to youth group and started learning some stuff, but he really didn't really make himself known to her until we started the process of becoming foster parents. And um, he brought four amazing, wonderful kids into our lives and some other kids that touched our lives in ways that they weren't able to stay, but they were still, we learned a lot from them. And, and uh, we definitely believe that God put them in our lives for a reason. <clears throat> um, and for me, you know, I grew up going to this church and I have always been a believer, but I haven't always been a doer of the word. Um, I've always been just sort of a reader, the guy that looks at his face in the mirror and then forgets what he sees. <clears throat> to here. Um, the ways that God has been acting in our lives. Um, like I said, we did um, foster care and we brought these kids into our lives and they've just been such a perfect fit that um, that there's no other explanation for it, but that, that um, he was behind it. And um, he's also been leading Ashley on this, this uh, journey of spiritual healing and um, spiritual understanding. And for me, He's working in my life to show me how to trust in him and not to lean on my own intellect and not to trust in the things that I know, but to trust him to be able to um, help me in my endeavors. And he also, I think he was involved some in my decision to attend Liberty University because it's a very Bible-centered, God-based Christian college and um, it's a great fit for me. And the reason we want to join, um, to become members of Trinity, uh, is because after COVID and everything was opened up again, and we decided that we wanted to start going to church again, we decided to come here, and it just felt like coming home. I am Claire Murray, mother of Justin, mother-in-law of Lisa, and grandmother of Ryan and Connor. I come to faith in Christ by baptism, immersion, in the Baptist Church for 60 years, most recently as a Presbyterian. God has been active in my life through teaching Sunday School, Choir, Habitat for Humanity, and Royal Family Kids. It doesn't matter what denomination you belong to, it's a matter if you are spiritually connected to God and stay that way, praying, encouraging, and supporting one another. Thank you. I'm Donna Rappa, and I have three children and four grandchildren, all living in the Jamestown Busti area. I came to faith in Christ by learning about Jesus in my young years in Sunday school. I believe God has become very active in my life when my husband passed away. I had been attending different churches of different denominations, looking for where I felt most comfortable. From the first service I attended here at Trinity Church, I knew this was the perfect fit for me. I felt so comfortable with the parishioners and Trinity's message. Each Sunday, when I leave church, I can say I understood the sermon and how it relates to me. I am proud to say I have found my home in Trinity Church as my journey has ended in finding where I belong. Hi, we are Trisha and Jeremy Knapp. We have been, um, I have been a Christian since I was um, about nine or 10 years old. And I just, I've been in church my whole life. Um, my mom and dad have been in pastoral roles 
or leadership roles pretty much since I was a baby. So it was kind of just what you did. Uh, it didn't become real to me until after high school when I went on a mission field with my parents and I, um, it became my relationship with them. Yeah, I've been saved for since I was saying about well, nine to ten years old. Uh, I was baptized around the same time, 1990. I still have the Bible that I got when I got baptized. I've been raised in the uh, in the church pretty much my whole life, and continued going never never straight or left the church for any reason. But uh, I've been a continual continual follow, follower uh, still. So um, we had three kids and we got married in 2002 and then the kids came along and we, you know, we've been, we lived in different places in Pennsylvania, we've lived in North Carolina and we just, we knew that it was time to come back here, this is home. And um, we were like, okay, where are we going to go to church? Because that's just what you do. <laughs> you just go and you go to church. You find a place to be home. And we came here, I think it was maybe two times, and we were like, that's where God wants us to be. It, God was just speaking to us directly through. Now, becoming members of, of a church, we weren't sure that that was even something that you needed to do. Like, you're just going to be involved in church regardless of whether or not you're a member. Um, but we understand what it means to be a member of a church. We are telling you, Trinity, that we want to support this church and we want to be behind these people and we want to be a family unit together sharing Christ with the world. So that's why we decided it's time to become member, members of, of Trinity. And we are so grateful for what God is going to do um, in our lives and in this church. I've only ever had like one free work prerequisite for joining a church and that's if only if they uh, taught the Bible nothing added or taken away but it's strictly the Bible we found that year. That's right. Thank you. Tom and I were both raised in church. I came from a Protestant background and attended church that my great-great-grandparents were two of the founding members back in the 1800s. Tom attended the Catholic Church in Frisburg until junior high. When I introduced him to my mother, the first thing she said is, we go to church here. It was different for him, but he came along with my family and soon after accepted Christ. I had been baptized at eight and had been a believer since as long as I had had a memory. That was home. But home is more than a location. Home is the place where you feel safe and loved and accepted. A church home additionally is the place where those that share your beliefs are there to help you learn the truths that the Bible reveals and sitting beside you and around you every week. We have been attending a church that is about 20 minutes from our home. When we drove by Trinity, I felt the Lord tugging. He wanted us to check it out. We weren't unhappy at the other church, but the feeling that we were supposed to follow His path was plain. We have trusted the Lord throughout our 38 years of marriage, and this led us in the right direction, so we decided we needed to trust Him again. We both sensed that home feeling from the very first Sunday and knew this is where we were supposed to be worshiping. We want to make this our permanent church home and continue to grow with our new church family. <laughs> Hi, my name is uh, Chris Skelton and this is my wife, Carrie. Uh, we have two kids in the Fruitsburg District. Uh, Callan, eight years old, and Kieran, four years old. And our faith story, more than anything, I feel like I uh, came to know Christ early in life through the Catholic Church and growing up with my uh, parents and my three younger siblings, attending pretty regularly uh, every Sunday. I mean, very... Same, um, just always grew up in a Christian family, Christian household, uh, always attended, was very active in children's ministries and youth ministries as um, child, so just to always have a faith of some sort. As for God working in our lives, I feel like uh, God in a really kind of funny way led me to carry mm -hmm. uh, in our marriage up together. 
I would say most recently how God is working in our lives is that um, about two years ago, I um, we both had a uh, really strong urge, you know, God placing on our lives that we needed to help guide our children's faith in a more concrete way, and that the church that we were at um, didn't have an active, thriving children's ministry and youth ministry. So, you know, we didn't want to just up and leave. We, we kind of stayed and, and fought for a while to kind of actively grow something at that church, but we were we came up against a lot of walls, a lot of roadblocks. And I would say God placed those in our lives on purpose to lead us here. We made a decision about a year ago to leave that church and start searching. And we found ourselves here with the sole purpose of, you know, what's going to be best for our children. And I think what led us here too is uh, work here, just working in school in Cruzburg. We recently have moved to Cruzburg. We live right up the road. So, well, I, I think all that kind was of coming all, together. Well, <laughs> I think that was all part of God's plan. You know, um, He placed us here at this church first, and knowing later that we were going to be living in the community. So, um, why would we become members here? Well, after we've been attending here for about a year, I would say that not only did I not realize that God was placing us here for um, the faith growth of our children, my faith had been snacks, very stagnant for a while. And I know that God placed us here so that we could grow more in our faith as well. So becoming members here is very important so that we can Submit to God's will, being in the refiner's fire so that he can mold us and that we can officially commit to serving uh, both here at the church and in this community where God would have us. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm Ben McLaughlin. And I'm Lisa McLaughlin. And then we have a daughter, Hope, who's eight. And a son, Henry, who's six. Mm -hmm. Well, should have said, we live in Jamestown. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was born and raised in the church uh, in Randolph, New York. Uh, the church that my grandfather started, Randolph United Presbyterian Church. And went there my entire life. Got married in the church to Lisa. Cameron Leinhart was a part of that. And then we transitioned over to this church eventually and have been attending here since like 2012 and um, been looking for ways to serve. And My church journey is a little bit different. I was raised in a family that believed in God, but we did not attend the church. And so we started to attend when I started dating Ben. God has been active in our lives through <laughs> our work. Uh, definitely, we both have jobs where we serve the community and work to preserve life. Um, we're active in the church, serving on a few different committees or just helping out here at the church. Uh, well, we've been attending for quite some time and we've decided that uh, we've been dating this church long enough and it was uh, time that we put a ring on it and make it official. <laughs>